jump all the way ahead to the end of the week. Let's get us to New Year's Eve, where it will be a dry and seasonable one as we ring out 2021 and welcome in 2022. 40s for the evening, and if you're staying deep into the night, we're going to be in the 30s here, both ashore and at the mainland. Enjoy, just do so safely. Let's take a look at what's happening now. Dry day for today on our Tuesday, but we will be wetter as we go into Wednesday and then Thursday and Friday as well. Just a little bit of rain early on New Year's Eve, I do believe. Let's check out this Wednesday rain for you here. This is Friday, excuse me, Wednesday at 4 a.m. A couple of rain showers starting to work their way from north to south across the area, and they will do so. Throughout the day on Wednesday, it's not going to be a washout. There will be light rain showers all throughout the morning, the afternoon, and the evening. Then a heavier round of rain moves in overnight. This is associated with the center of the low pressure system that will be with us through the early morning and then try to clear out as we go later to the morning hours. I think by noon, we should be dry. We need the rain here and an inch to an inch and a half for Barnegat Light, Hallgate, all the way down to Sea Isle City and the Wildwoods is looking good here. We're in a normally dry drought conditions. That's actually a pre-drought stage. And we don't want to be there, especially during the middle of the winter here. It hasn't even spring yet. If we continue or were to continue that dry pattern into March, then we'd really have some issues. Of course, we never want to be in drought. Here's a look at our Tuesday morning forecast. Temperatures rising through the 40s here very slowly, though, and that's because we have a northwesterly wind. But even with that northwesterly wind, still going to be a warm afternoon. Temperatures in the mid 50s here. Won't even need the winter coat on for a few hours during the afternoon. All this is about 10 degrees above average for this time of the year. We'll be dry and we'll slide through the 50s into the 40s Tuesday evening. Overnight, Tuesday night into Wednesday, rain will begin between 3 to 5 a.m. And then for our Wednesday itself, showers possible at any point here. It should at least be 70% dry, if you believe, for your Wednesday. Temperatures will be in the mid 50s. So not a lot of cold around it. And that's pretty much been the case all December long. We are sitting just outside the top five for the warmest Decembers on record. And I think by the time we get towards New Year's Eve, we should have that fifth spot. We'll keep you updated though as we go on throughout the week. Here's a look at our inland seven day forecast. Double nickels for Wednesday and Thursday here. We'll get a little bit of sunshine on our Thursday afternoon. And Friday, just a spotty early morning shower. I might even take it off by the time we get towards our evening forecast. But I'm going to leave it in for now. Shouldn't be a big deal. Dry as we ring in the new year. Then as we go into Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, a double trouble of storms are to pass. Now, we won't see snow with this, at least most likely, but wind and coastal flooding could very well be around. We'll track this for you as we go deeper into the week. You can follow me on social media. We'll talk about this weekend rain, or you can go to our website for more, pressmac.com slash weather. And don't forget, if you go to our website, you can sign up for my snow contest, which ends. You can enter to win until December 31st.